Come here, come here. Say, I, we, we forgot the points already. <laughs> Flexibility, okay. diversity, Everybody interactivity. Everybody quickly introduce yourself. And what faculty? Your name, your faculty, and what uh, discipline you are in. All right. Introduce yourself first. Your honor. Okay, honor. Hello, guys. We are from Group Halls. I am Saizal. From, from the faculty, uh, from FPEP. Okay, your uh, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, financial economics. Yeah. Uh, I'm Borhan from FPEP as well. I'm teaching uh, labor economics. So I'm Kong from FKJ. So my teaching from program electrical and electronic. Hi, I'm Mary from FPEP. I'm from hotel management. Um, I'm Iklima from FPEP. Uh, I'm teaching entrepreneurship. Hi, I'm Sharon from FPEP. I'm in management discipline. <laughs> so, <that moment. laughs> okay, so today we are going to present the SWOT, strength, opportunity, weaknesses, as well as threats for e-learning. So in terms of strength... What's your objective behind this SWOT? What was governing you, regulating you? What is it, Prof? <laughs> <laughs> Behind this SWOT okay, the reason why we wanted to do this SWOT analysis is so that we can identify uh, the current practice, especially in UMS in terms of uh, e-learning, as well as the way how we can improve all the weaknesses that we are currently experiencing. So in terms, if we can move on to the strengths, so we have underlined four strengths that we believe uh, existed or enjoyed by the programs, uh, sorry, by the uh, university. Number one, flexibility, and then after that, we have the diversity, interactivity, and then the last one, collaborative learning. So flexibility is in terms of the flexibility of the students, as well as the lecturers to put on notes, slide, lectures on the system, and the flexibility, uh, as well as accessibility of the students to enjoy those materials whenever they want, wherever they want. So in terms of diversity, so here we uh, believe that e-learning uh, helps the student to what you call as to mix not just the online courses, uh, what you call as uh, produced and shared by lecturers, but they can also use Google, for example, in order to fine tune those information. So in terms of interactivity, so based on e-learning, students will be able to engage not just with fellow students in that lecture but they can also engage with students from the rest of the world so in terms of collaborative learning so from here uh, it can strengthen what we call as the way students communicate because we know that in the lecture we are limited with time we only have maybe around two hours or maybe three for mba students for example but with collaborative learning, the time is limitless because it depends on us whenever or wherever we wanted to, what you call as discuss, all the assignments given by the lecturers. So that one is for the strengths. So in terms of opportunity, we also have an aligned four opportunities for blended learning. Number one is the collaboration with other universities or helping the students to interact with other students globally just like what MIT is currently doing and by doing so students will not just be able to receive information or knowledge shared by the lecturers but they can also gain knowledge or insight from other expert of other experts from the rest of the world and then apart from that it can also help us to share the knowledge that we have where the blended learning will help us to strengthen the open access learning for the educators as well as for the students. Number three, increasing the market share of digital learning. As we know, uh, maybe we are fortunate that we can enjoy what you call as materials, books, for example, in the libraries. But not all students are able to enjoy that because of costs, for example, because you have to purchase goods or books, for example. So by having or by increasing the market share of digital learning, it can be enjoyed by the students from the rest of the world. So I use the terms the rest of the world many times already. And then the last one, system integration. We believe that this e-learning can be strengthened further if we can integrate the system that we already have. For example, now in UMS, we have Smart UMS, we have OBE, we have uh, SMP, 
We have so many things. So it will be very nice if, let's see, we can integrate this system into one parent system, where based on that system, we can access to the rest of the subsystem, if you can call it a subsystem. So for weaknesses as well as threat, I leave it to my friend, oh, Borhan. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. <Yeah>. Okay. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, thank you, uh, Saizal. Okay, yeah, maybe we give chance to the ladies, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, in terms of weaknesses, um, okay, the first point we have here is in adequate learning customi uh, customization. Uh, I think this point is about, uh, about the creativity of the students because if, let's say, if we give uh, slide notes to the students through online or whatever website we have, we give them the notes, they're only, they, they're too depending on the notes. They don't do their own um, uh, notes, which is uh, in traditional way, when we do our notes, we are more creative, the students are more creative, and they can, you know, they can create uh, whatever types of notes they are preferred. But uh, uh, when we apply this e-learning, that's, that is the one, uh, the problem. And the second one, is about uh, apa ini, relationship between learners and teachers. So this is about the face-to-face, -face, yeah, face-to-face -face, uh, teaching. Uh, for example, if uh, if we use e-learning, okay, if we send uh, upload videos and ask students to uh, to watch the video, uh, replacing the traditional way teaching, so it will reduce the face-to-face uh, -face, uh, between st uh, students and lecturers, right? Okay. And um, the number three is always connectivity problems. Okay, this is about Wi-Fi. Okay, maybe for example in UMS, not all areas are, prov are, are, prov are provided with Wi-Fi. So that is the problem. Sometimes even in the lecture hall, we have problems connect with the, uh, the internet, yeah? So that is the, uh, one of the weaknesses that we have here. Okay, and uh, number three. Okay, next, uh, yeah, I give to the ladies, yeah. Anyone, please? Okay, maybe. Oh, okay, and I want to add on something about the weaknesses. Yeah. So one thing is the notifications. The current online system, maybe, okay, today we give a quiz to the students. Okay, so then on the spot, they will pass out, right? But if you ask them to do it at home or do it online, they might be forgot or they didn't will abandon the quiz. Mm. So we can create a notification. This is the weaknesses, like what I, our group members think. So to remind them the quiz will be ended in within one hours or two hours so that they have the chance to take the quiz also. So this is to remind them. So this is the weaknesses on the online. So about the traits, so when everything get online, so the major traits of course is hackers. So maybe they have uh, intention or unintention. Some people they might like to destroy the things. So this is the major traits on the hackers. Okay. So, and the interpersonal communications. So, now we're dealing with man-machine, without, without man-human with human interconnections, okay? So, this is the major trait. Maybe they will uh, have the soft, soft skilling will be decreasing, okay? Because they're dealing with the man and the machines. So, and then the traits of the maintaining cost. Because we need a larger server to have the storage, to collect all the data you need to store in. So this is the maintenance cost will be high. This is one of the traits. And then maybe there are someone who misuse the material when we put online, they will fall under purposes, okay? But until today, <laughs> Prof already told us about the copyright, this thing. So we have more, more uh, ideas about this. So before the, actually, for some people, they, may, they might, um, what to say? They want to do it, they want to achieve their goal. So they just pick and use. They never think about the copyright of these things. Yeah. So we thank the prof today, give us the lecture about copyrights, okay? Ignorant. So, ignorant. ignorant, yeah. And then the last thing is the server maintenance, lah, because you want to monitor, manage all the large amount of the data uploaded. So this is from our groups, lah. so from the strength, opportunity, weakness, and the traits. So. Three of you, can you give a quick conclusion? Try to uh, you know, count the strength. <laughs> <laughs>
how the French actually <laughs> 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 Because the threats uh, can be linked to the weaknesses. Okay, so how could the threats actually be eliminated? How could the weaknesses uh, be uh, improved? Okay, the threat actually we need a high level of technicians. <laughs> they have a high knowledge on this area. Actually, they can block the trackers on this thing. Always track the traffic. So make sure everything is... Because some of the website, I believe uh, most of you will buy things online now. Because we have maybe the one class students, you have a lot of students. So at the same time, they log into the server, they might be have the traffic problems on this one. So the technician can help in this one. Uh, we reduce with the maintenance all the traffic in and out so you can control on these things uh, to help to reduce the trace on this one actually yeah uh, what is the top priority from here what should we address what is it that uh, management or any agency in the uh, UNS should pay attention and take the top priority and tackle it right now <laughs> so we believe that there are two things that the management need to be uh, taken into account seriously. Number one is in terms of connectivity. Because we know even though we have top-notch, for example, system, but if we cannot connect, then we're going to have a problem, just like a car without petrol, for example. And then the second one will be in terms of cost. Because now we know that we have problem in terms of cost. The budget have been reduced for the university. So at the same time, the cost will be increasing from time to time. As the advancements of the technology grows, same goes to the cost. So this is the thing that we also, the, the management need to take into account is, as well, based on my point of view. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Among the three of you, <laughs> please, please, yeah. Chila, chila, chila. To you, our strength, what is the top, top highlight? What is the main strength? What is the main strength in UMS? To realize uh, the success of what we're doing, okay. what is the main strength here? It can be fully enhanced. I think we go for the flexibility. Flexibility? Yes. Why do you say so? Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> Why is it that flexibility is very important? Okay, say that. Well, because yes, <laughs> because our test is getting uh, what you call it. Our test, <laughs> our job is getting many. Okay, so we have a lot of tasks to do. So the lecturer they have so many things to accomplish within a specified specified range of time. So that's why they need flexibility so that they can access or interact with the students uh, what you call as more conveniently. Okay? So that is the reason why I believe Mary choose flexibility. <laughs> yeah. Even though collaborative learning is important as well. Because collaborative learning will generate ideas. It can help us to solve or to teach the student to be able to solve problems more thoroughly so that one yeah i think that's all from us group calls thank you very much